Luton Town have announced another signing. I know. What are you thinking, Lewis? We're in the second international break. Who have we signed? Well, Andros Townsend has been trialling for Luton over the last couple of weeks. And today we have announced that he has signed a short-term deal. And I'm really happy about that. So in today's video, I'm going to give you my overall thoughts on the signing and what happens going forward from here. So Andros Townsend, if you don't know, is a former England international who played for Newcastle, Tottenham, Crystal Palace, Everton more recently, and was currently out of a club. He's had a major injury at probably at the wrong point in his career, and he's looking at trying to stay in the Premier League. Now, in the summer, he was meant to actually sign for Burnley, but for some weird reason, they pulled the plug. And I actually listened to an interview which Townsend did in like in the summer, saying that he tried to, he's done his best to try and get back to full fitness. He's worked the hardest he's ever felt, and he's you know, and he, he feels the best, you know, in his in his whole entire career, he feels the best. And which gives me good signs that he's gonna, you know, get his head down and hit the ground running here at Luton. But as I was saying, Bernie, for some weird reason, the contract was in front of him. And they pulled the plug for whatever reason, you know. Townsend was saying in the interview that he was looking for schools, looking for places to live. But they decided to change their mind. Company was someone who really wanted him, really liked him. But unfortunately, that move didn't happen. But that meant we were able to, obviously, a few months later, which is now, bring him in to the club on a free signing. Now, he does fill our last spot within the Premier League um, registration like system. We now have a 25-man squad, and I do believe because he is a free agent, he is allowed to play in the next Premier League game because he was a free agent before the transfer window started, and he still, at the time, was a free agent. So I believe the rules say he's allowed to play. So I'm looking forward to seeing him what he can potentially do in the next couple of games. And I do believe we've signed him at the correct point because it's international break. He's going to have a week, week and a half to understand. Well, he's already been on trial with the squad, but he's going to have more time to develop relationships with the current players and get used to the current system, which we are going to play over the course of the season. Now, what is that system going to be? I'm not too sure. This is where we're going to talk about it. It suggests to me that we are going to continue to play the 3-4-3 formation, which was introduced a couple of games within the season, which has helped us in a lot of ways because of Benny has been the real standout and having him on one side and Brown on the other has helped us, you know, perform better on the pitch and also helped us, you know, have better performances and get some points. Andros Townsend provides, you know, I would say depth within those positions because the one concern which I had was if Benny gets injured, who do we fall to? And now we can say, well, we've got Andros Townsend now, which is great to have. Someone with Premier League experience, as already mentioned, I think when you look over the course of his career, his work rate is fantastic. It's one of the best attributes about him. His defensive contributions, you know, he will work for the team will put pressure on, he's very quick, very good at dribbling abilities, technical abilities, very good. I think someone with his Premier League quality is vital to have. And when you say to someone you can have that on a free transfer, you know, I would snap your hands off and say, yes, please, thank you very much. You know, his crossing ability is good. And I think when you've got someone like that, Benny can learn from him as well, because Premier League experience. And I think Barkley, I think Barkley and Townsend as well, Barkley would be able to feed him some quality balls to him and he will, you know, I just can see that relationship working. Townsend will know what exactly what Barkley will want to ha do on the pitch and I'm really excited to see what Townsend can do in a Luton shirt going forward. So yeah, Townsend has signed, 32 years old, obviously as I already mentioned had the big injury recently. I think he's back to full fitness which isn't a problem. And as he already said, he came out and said he's the best he's ever felt. So I'm looking forward to seeing him play. He's a local boy as well. He mentioned in his interview, he only lives 20, 25 minutes away. So it's kind of really the perfect move for him. He doesn't have to relocate his children. He can stay where he lives as well. So hopefully he just comes in, head down and hit the ground running and help everyone around him do it extremely well. I'm looking forward to seeing what he can do. And... If we don't play the 3-4-3 formation, I definitely can see us playing 
with wingers now, which is quite unusual as a Luton fan, especially over the last 10 years. The last time I believe Luton played with wingers was back when John Steele was at the club. And even then, we didn't don't think we actually fully maximise the wingers then. I don't think we were, you know, a very, you know, a width-based style of play team. We still kind of focused our play through the middle and caused a lot of teams' problems through the middle, even when John Steele was at the club. Because I remember, I remember like Jake Howes, for example, Sean Wally, um, they caused a few problems. But yeah, we didn't really fully maximise the, you know, the width. It was more the midfield so yeah i'm looking forward to seeing especially from now to the end of the season us using wingers because a lot of teams in the premier league use wingers a lot of teams in the championship use wingers and it's something which we're also seeing different from rob edwards because rob edwards is used to having wing backs free at the back type of system where now we're moving into a different evolution of rob edwards i, I want to say and he's showing that he doesn't just play with one system he can be adaptable and he can change and I feel like we are changing into a winger-based team, which excites me because players like Townsend and Ogbeni, they excite me. They get me on, on the edge of my seat. So, yeah, I'm really excited to see what he can do in the Luton shirt. Let me know down in the comment section of the video your thoughts on the signing. Do you think it's a good one? Let me know. Drop a like on the video if you did enjoy listening to my thoughts. And, yeah, I'll see you all in the next video.